Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video. And in today's video, you see the title, you see the title. We are going to be speaking about Chloe Bailey and her TikTok live. So if you're interested in that, pop, conspiracy theories, trending topics, female rap, my popular opinions, whatever I feel like getting into for real, then go on ahead and subscribe and let's get into this video. Also, really quick, subscribe, subscribe because we are on the road to 5K. And once we get to 5K, I'm going to be doing a 5K Q&A type of style video, as well as another video breaking down my autism and talking a little bit more about that for some of you who wanted to know about that. So it'll probably be two videos, a two video special, period. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. So I guess the other day, Chloe Bailey was on TikTok live and she was just talking to her fans, probably about music and whatever else and I guess she addressed the running conversation that you will see from time to time about Chloe Bailey online um, it normally happens like when she posts a picture or a video or something that's a little bit more risque or comes across a little bit more like you know hot and <laughs> hot and bothered so she was basically addressing what people have called in the past a lack of authenticity and an unbelievableness about how she presents herself as an artist and things like that. That rhetoric and that uh, narrative has been going around for a while. So basically she was talking about it. So let me show you a little bit of the lie. Um, I saw something that was like, it's not believable. Her sexy act ain't believable because, you know, she's goofy and nerdy. Why can't I be both? <laughs> it's not an act, honey. <laughs> but uh, not everybody will have access to that it's not an act honey women can be both women can be both type fashioned I mean lady in the streets but a freak in the sheets lady in the sheets but a oh lady in the streets but a freak in the sheets <laughs> and of course my songs is like my diary so that's where you'll get like you know, <laughs> a part, you know, of me that <laughs> y'all don't have access to. So I know <laughs> it might be uh, surprising. <laughs> she is so silly. She is so goofy. Like just off of that live alone, you can see the energy radiating off of her. She's just a sweetheart of a girl. And um, I've watched a lot of her interviews and I really kept up with her a lot especially after Have Mercy, because I was extremely interested in the trajectory of her career, which I still am, but um, especially then. And she just comes across as very sweet, very innocent, very kind-hearted, very almost malleable in a way. So let me read a couple of comments that were posted underneath this live. Okay, so it wasn't a lot of comments, but just a couple. They said, still don't believe it. We don't believe her. I'm sorry. The geekiest be the freakiest. If you know, you know. Sweet girl, but something is coming off as inauthentic. That's pretty much what everybody is saying. I love her. So this is what I have to say about Chloe Bailey and this inauthenticity conversation and her geekiness and her background and everything like that. And I feel like we've seen the good girl gone bad aesthetic happen in music so much. Like it's not an abnormal thing. Like Rihanna did it. Uh, you know, Miley Cyrus did it. Uh, Christina Aguilera has done it. Britney Spears has done it. Um, I think the issue for some people is that it's not coming across as believable with Chloe because she still presents as like the girl that she really is or that she really was. And then her music and her Instagram posts and her image shows this vixen, fierce, confident, sexual being. But when you hear her and see her, she doesn't present that way. And so the difference, I feel like, for some people when it comes to these other women in hip hop or these other women in pop music who have did the whole good girl gone bad aesthetic, they actually transitioned over and it was believable. Whether they really were that or not, we don't know, but it was believable. They made it so it looked like they actually were this 
new person or this new, you know, <laughs> you know, sexual being or whatever. And it doesn't come across to people as real um, because they see how Chloe Bailey really presents herself and how she talks about herself in interviews and how she acts when we see her on live and different things like that. I've also heard Chloe say in interviews that she's not this confident person that she puts off. She's not this overt person that she puts off and that she is very different on and off the stage and that she feels her most confident and sexy and put together when she's on stage and when she's performing. But she said outside of that, she's really a different person. And I think she said this several times in interviews. Like she has said this a lot, more times than I can even count to where it's like, oh, well, what do you mean by that exactly? Like, what does that mean? So some people feel like, okay, so she's not really what she presents as. She is doing it, you know, the pictures and the videos and the and the dancing and the this and the that and the licking microphones and lollipops and doing different stuff like that. But outside of that performance, that's not really her. And she kind of has said that, you know, she's kind of referenced that herself. What's the difference between who is on stage and the Chloe that we're talking to now? The Chloe on stage and like the Chloe you guys see, she's like confident, badass, sexy. And the crazy thing is while I'm taking those photos or right before I go on stage, like I'm in my head, like, okay, stand up straight. look fearless. <laughs> like I just have, like, I'm so in my head. I get nervous bad i'm such a nerd but nobody really thinks that i guess by my outer shell until they really know me okay so if the clip made it in the video that is one example of like chloe basically talking about this you're probably thinking oh that's not a big deal like no 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 i get in the context of one interview that's probably not that big of a deal or an example but in the context of like there are several interviews of her saying this that she is not the person that you we see when we look at her online and we look at her in performances and we look at her in music videos and we look at her, she is a very different and she feels very differently about herself than what she portrays. And that has been a very fluid message that she's, you know, sent out. Um, and even if you haven't seen the interviews, um, you know, it's very easy to register that just off of her energy and her mannerisms and just she reads that way just without seeing an interview, you can kind of see it in her, if that makes sense. You can see <laughs> the uh, insecurity in her and the lack of confidence in her. It reads off of her. And I especially understand it because I feel that way about myself all the time. So I can definitely see it on someone else. And that's not shade to her at all. Like she's literally said this about herself several times. Um, and so I think, again, that all kind of reads to people and they can kind of sense that Chloe is not a hundred percent of what she portrays to the public in such a way that she does. Now I'm going to get into my opinion and my thoughts. I believe it's the industry. I believe that, you know, in this industry, you have to be a certain way in order to get the attention, get the sales, get the push, get these things. You have to be overt you have to show skin you have to talk about certain things you have to have this you know sexual goddess and being type of energy and spirit um this overt nature um in order to be seen and to be heard a lot of the time um whether it's pop r&b um female rap it's very prevalent it's very prevalent and so I don't feel like, you know, that she's necessarily being forced or something like that. I'm sure she has a choice. But if you want to be successful, if you want to be popular, if you want to be mainstream, if you want to be looked at, um, I feel like that's just the price you have to pay, like, in my opinion. And there's nothing wrong with being you know, into your body or confident or, you know, like showing yourself off. Like, no, I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with that. I feel like in moderation. But I feel like once it gets to a certain level of overtness, it's used for sales, it's used for attention, it's used for prof profitability, it's used for a push because this world is so sex driven that that is what um, the people want to see. You know what I mean? And so maybe she's like, okay, I have to do what I have to do and come off how I need to come off to win the approval of people, the approval, you know what I mean? And her, my, mind you, her core audience and her core fan base is like, girl, but 
this doesn't read as really you, you know what I'm saying? And I do also understand the, the conversation of, well, how do you know? How do you know that it's not her? She's a grown woman. She, ha- you know, has changed and evolved and grown. She is not just like a little girl anymore. Like she can be this way. It's not an issue. Um, I definitely do agree with that. I don't think it's an issue. I just don't think that, you know, like it's coming off too believable as a lot of people because of how she talks about herself and how she she has to wear the pants. If she really wants people to believe it, she has to believe it herself. And I don't think people think she believes it. You know what I mean? Like I think people feel like she's putting on a coat and it's the sexy coat, but she really takes that off at the end of the day. And that's not really her. And I think that that is how it's being registered. I don't think people believe that she really wants to present how she presents. I think people believe that she's traditionally a lot more reserved, that she's a lot more to herself. She's nerdy. She's awkward. She's off. She's like, people don't think that if she probably wasn't Chloe Bailey, that she would you know, present the way she does. So that's just what I've gathered. And also my intuition just tells me that it's an industry push for her to be the way she is. That's just my intuition. Not everyone's going to believe that or agree with that. And that's totally fine. But um, you guys let me know what you thought of this live, what you think of Chloe as far as her image goes and the believableness of her image. But anyway, (laughs) I love you guys a lot. And I hope you subscribe and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.